In this video, let's compare these two characterization tools or techniques. The first one is transmission electron microscope and this is called scanning electron microscope. Is it clear from the names that transmission means that when something is transmit, it pass something. In both cases, we use electron to look after something. In both cases, in TAM, we use electron and SEM, we use electron. Previously, when we do not have these uh, tools, we use light microscopes. There, the same work was doing light. Here, the same work is doing electrons. Now, in SEM, basically, electrons scan the surface. It has nothing to do with the internal structure of a material because it only scan and it get the information about the sample. Just like when you close your eye and you put your hand on something, so you realize that whether the object is cough, whether the object is flat, whether the object is sharp. So you feel uh, that uh, the object, how the objects look like. Similarly, electron just bombard on the sample and it scan the surface and it gives us in the information. So if the object is spherical, we get spherical information. If the object is in rod form, if it is hollow, any kind of information, we get it. Now, transmission electron microscope, because we are interested internally, internal structure. So we make the sample very, very thin and we pass the electrons. And then electron, the, 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 the information we get uh, and we display in white, in black, right? Now let's uh, see the clear differences one of the clear difference from these two images, SEM gives us three-dimensional image. This is one of the key difference, while TEM gives us two-dimensional image. Very clear. Because I don't know here, I just know this, that it looks like this, the particle or something, but I just, I, I, it just looks like the plane, two-dimensional, right? But here it gives me the three-dimensional view here. You see, there, around, it's three-dimensional view, right? The second important difference is here, we always use low scale here, and this is very high scale. So the magnification of transmission electron microscope is very, very high. Let's now see the detail. TEM basically produces image of a simple of internal structure very key parameter and SEM produce the surface because it's skin, right? For example, when you use our eyes, so SEM gives us high resolution and magnification two million times, two millions. This is a huge magnification, two million times higher, it has the potential. But you look here, it is 10 to 50 million times. This means that TEM give almost 25 times powerful resolution than SEM. <laughs> so this one is very, very powerful uh, tool, the TEM, right? As I explained that in SEM, it give me, give us the information about the surface, mean how the surface looks like and when we change the mode of a machine from electron to x-ray, then there we get elemental compositions. And that we call EDX. I made video on this one. EDXRS. Because we change the mode from electron to x-ray, then it gives us the information about the uh, elemental composition. Similarly, TEM also gives us the information about the morphology, the composition as I explained and the crystal structure. SEM does not give us about the crystal structure because crystal structure is internal thing. It is not surface. Whether, the, whether the, the material is polycrystalline or single crystal, monocrystal. If we get the direction Sayed pattern S A E D, Sayed pattern dot, the Sayed pattern we get dot, dot, dot. So this means it is single crystal. If we get ring, it is polycrystalline, right? 
for DM analysis, the sample must be very, very thin because we want electron to pass. So the, 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 the sample should be below 150 nanometer. Must, you see? <laughs> because we are going to know more about the deeper. And here, the sample may be thin or thick. We don't have any problem unless the sample holder uh, is not bigger than the sample holder. SEM gives us the information, right? And as I explained, it give it capture 2D image while this capture 3D image. This is further you can see here. This is the, these are the SEM images here. Look here, it gives 3D information. The resolution is very very low here because it is in micron here. While the TM image, it is in two dimension and it is with high magnification. Right. So this was these, these were the differences uh, between SEM and TM. Both are very powerful characterization techniques. TM is a little bit more powerful than SEM, and most of the institutions uh, SEM is available, but they do not have TEM because it is very very expensive. Moreover, uh, these techniques are very very useful in industry like. Uh, uh, to find the cracks, to find the defects and imperfections. So these kind of uh, instruments and techniques can be used as industry also.